All right, man, we back. We back with the Tower of God climb. It's Sunday. You already know what time it is. It's time to climb. Now, the first thing I must say out the gate, right? And if you're watching this and you're in the chat right now, you might not know about this. You may know about this. Uh, people mad at me for uh, the last stream, right? And understandably so, honestly, when I reflect on it and I think about it, I really shouldn't make it such a big deal. I should have moved on. Um, I don't think I was, some people are saying that I was gaslighting the chat. I don't think I was that bad, but if I was, I, I'll, I'll hold that and I, I apologize. All right. I'll hold that and I'll apologize. Um, I do agree to a certain extent with some of the comments I saw in the last vlog. So if you're watching this after the words, um, I'm not going to go into any specific comments or like talk about anything because I think you guys are pretty much right and you hit on the head and I need to humble myself and take a step back and think about that. Right? Um, I mean, I was... Uh, sometimes I just be in a mood, dog. I'm not into, like, entertain some bullshit. The one thing that I can say, um, not making any excuses, but the one thing I will say is that uh, you guys don't get to see the chat as it is, so you guys don't have the full context of what transpired. And the reason I don't put the chat in the VOD is because if there's potential spoilers, right then they'll show up on screen and even if the mods get rid of them people will still see them so that's the whole we talked about this at the very beginning when i switched to twitch right and so i thought that that was going to be best in the future i might especially when we get to like doing individual chapters i might start including the chat because at that point the spoilers will no longer be a problem and then everybody can get the full scope of what's going on but needless to say i'm not making no excuses i agree i think that the way that I handled that situation was wrong. I think it was stupid. I mean, I was mostly just rambling and just doing my normal shit, but there was no reason for me to get upset about it. I should have accepted the fact that I was wrong, um, and I should have just moved on instead of making it a big deal, right? So, my bad. I'm sorry. I hope you guys accept that apology. I'm, I'm actually genuinely sincere about that apology because normally, if I didn't give a fuck, I wouldn't even address this, right? But I'm going to address it now because I think that the statements that were made were fair. Um, I was wrong about my interpretation. Um, I think that ultimately speaking, certain the, the reason that I got pissed off was certain individual comments, not really the chat as a whole. But needless to say, it didn't need to be that kind of thing. I'm going to move on from it. I hope y'all can move on from it. If not, it's cool. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, to say that real quick. All right. With that said, now we're going to get into the climb. Um, I don't know how many chapters we're going to do right now, but I'm going to at least do the bare minimum of seven today. So y'all should be getting multiple VODs this week. I don't, if there's more than seven done, y'all will just have to wait and see if I made it there or not. All right, can we get to 2.30? I mean, we're on 2, or uh, 2.30. 2.30, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? Like, you you mean 30, right? Because if, if I read seven chapters, I'm gonna be at 29. You just mean, if, can we get to 30? That's my, that, yeah, that, that, all right. I mean, I don't know. I can't promise you that, but I'm going to try. I'm going to see what I can do here because I want to keep reading because the developments right now have gotten really crazy. And on top of that, um, I'm trying to catch up before CU returns, but I don't know if that's realistically going to happen. I was, tell I was talking to chat earlier. I think what's going to happen is I'll my goal at anyway is to be caught up by December 1st. Right, and we've been talking about what we're gonna do when it comes to Fast Pass, because obviously I'm not gonna stream or upload videos for Fast Pass before it's available free. So I think we found a legitimate solution where I, we're gonna test out recording prior, uploading it, seeing how that goes. If it doesn't work out, I'll just wait till the chapters are free. I'm still gonna get Fast Pass because I want to support, but like, I'll just wait till the chapters are free and then just do the stream. Then either way. You know, it, it'll it'll work itself out, right? Either way, it'll work itself out. But with all that said, uh, I hope y'all forgive me. I did, cause the thing is, like, I didn't even I I thought about this yesterday, 
right? When it happened and after it happened, and I don't think I really uh, said anything to apologize for it because I knew I was in the wrong, right? But I don't really think I said anything to apologize for it. I was just kind of being salty and, and doing my own thing instead of like doing what I'm supposed to do and just fucking hold that L <laughs> and move on. You feel me? So I thought about it, but I don't think I said anything. And then reading the comments from the VOD that was just uh, uploaded today really like made me think about it and realize that I was in the wrong there. So I'm going to move on from that. I hope you guys can too. If you can't, it is what it is. Um, from now on, <laughs> from now on, I'm not going to be fixated in the the back and forth with chat, right? Like, I love you guys, and I love engaging with you guys, but there's certain moments where it doesn't benefit me or the content or the people watching it later to engage in certain things. It's something where I just need to move on the majority of the time. And even in that way, that video would have been much shorter yesterday, dude. Um... No, I, I disagree, Kiwi. I don't think chat is always toxic. Um, there's times where, like, I think I was in the wrong in this situation. There was no reason for me to react the way that I did, and there was no reason for me to persist with it, right? But, man, it is what it is. I, I think, realistically speaking, uh, there's no excuse, and it, it, it was what it was, and all I can do is, is be better. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do. So... That's what we're going to fucking do. With all that said, we're going to dive into this chapter. We're on 23, right? I, I think I changed it. Yeah, I changed it preemptively. Dude, I love this Karaka and Bam collaboration. You feel me? And especially these last lines. I really like this portion. This man said he didn't even use the thorn yet. Looks like I was wrong. He's gotten way stronger than I thought. Bro. Karaka, your bet is secure, my boy. <laughs> your bet is secure. Your bet is secure. So, that's all you need to know. The moment that Doom took this bait, we're better off. We're definitely better off. Who the hell is this guy? He didn't even use the thorn. Yeah, right, right. They're repeating this shit. I know I wasn't fighting him seriously, but still, that speed and power. Is this guy really just a regular? Stealing the Fang too. I didn't even clock that this is what this arc is realistically called. I guess it makes sense because we literally made another bet over the Fang. But what are the consequences? I think realistically, like, thinking about all the moving pieces right now, isn't fucking Kel Halem the only variable that's scary? Because Yama, based on his dialogue and actions, has proven that even if... Doom gets the fang back. He can still whoop his ass. The problem is that the canine people will be screwed over as a whole. Right? That's the problem. So, I, I don't know how this is going to go, man. Accommodations of the Elder's Envoy. Silver Wolf, you a madman. Um, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. You're absolutely out of your mind. Okay, I don't know why you do this shit, but you're out of your mind. But I'm not, I'm gonna, I, just in service of me trying to like focus on the chapters and not fall into this pit of, of engaging and shit, I'm just gonna keep reading. But love you, my dude. Uh, accommodations of the Elder's Envoy. You're going straight to hell. Why don't you try begging that big, tough elder of yours to save you? Oh, wait, he's probably too far away to hear you. Yama, dude, Yama. And actually, between this chapter and, and, and the next one, I need to, like, take a break and, like, uh, hold on, hold on. We'll figure this out. One second. One second. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you mess with me on my turf. Wait. If you attack me, you'll regret it, Lord Yama. What? What the hell did you just say? Yes, sir, before I was captured and brought back into this building, I left this armor's nucleus in the air. Excuse me? Nucleus. Yes, it's like an energy con uh, condenser that drives this armor. And it can only 
or uh, excuse me, it can also be an extremely powerful bomb if you blow it up. Right now, it's flying towards the residential area of the cage. Of course, you and the executives won't die in the explosion, but if that thing goes off, what will happen to the mo uh, to most of the canine people in the cage? Yo, he's out of his mind. He's out of his fucking mind, dude. Right? Like, I didn't even, I didn't even realize what this shit was, but this is crazier than I even thought. Usually the cage's security system would be able to, trick, uh, to track down the core and get rid of it. But the security system, uh, the security system is down now. It won't be easy to find and eliminate the core. If you attack me, that nucleus will hit the cage and boom. Do you catch my drift? Bro, this man, so, so fucked up. I feel like Yama got a power play to make either way, but still. Where are the elders? I think there's an intruder. So what are you going to do, Lord Yama? You're not seriously thinking of attacking me and sacrificing all those canine people, are you? Even if a bomb d goes off in the cage, what does that have to do with me, bro? Bro, Yama, dude. Hold on, hold on. You, you're not serious, Yama. You're not serious, Yama. I mean, then again, Jordan would probably praise this man for this shit. He can't be serious. If he was willing to be that reckless about it, then this whole Doom situation wouldn't even have phased him. You know what I mean? He definitely cares. I sleep, eat, and live on my own terms. Why should I care if all the canine people in the cage die? This, this is a heavy-handed bluff right now. <laughs> this is heavy-handed, dude. We both know that's a lie. Then why did you keep Lord Doom alive just to make sure the canine people kept their power? You could have easily gone off on your own and created your own army. But you didn't. You tried to hide all that, uh, all that just so you could keep this cage running. You act like you don't care about anyone else. But I know you care about, uh, you care more about the canine people than anyone. But the elder doesn't need a slayer who cares about his own people. He wants a cold-hearted slayer who's willing to sacrifice people if that's what uh, it takes to get what he wants. So now that you know about the bomb, hand over the, your slayer title to Lord Doom. I won't set off the bomb if you bow to me and promise to give up all your power. Come on, bow. Bow to me and beg for beg me for forgiveness. You are out of your... You know what? Just kill him. Just kill him, Yama. Just, just kill him. <laughs> just kill him because this shit is ridiculous. This shit is absolutely ridiculous. And it only furthers the fact that they, they think Doom is just more controllable. This, I see the agenda as far as Kel is concerned. But realistically speaking, I don't think it's going to go that smoothly. But then again, this man was able to fucking bait and and flex on Evan Kell. And he's fucking a native one vessel. So I don't really know how this is going to go, dude. You little bastard. Fine. Spare the canine. So spare the canine people. Please, this man fell to his knees, dude. This man fell to his knees. Bro, y'all gotta stop calling him a bootleg Karaka. That's so that's so disrespectful to Karaka, man. Does this mean you'll give up your Slayer title if I don't set off the bomb? Yeah, I'll do anything I can. But know this, if you break your promise to me and hurt my clan in any way, I'll find you and your master that old fart and tear you to pieces and devour you right down to the last bone. And he means that shit too. And he means that shit too. Dude, Yama is already goaded. Yama is already goaded, man. Damn it, he's making me nervous. There's absolutely nothing to be nervous about. I just have to buy enough time for the elder to get here. Then the elder will deal with Yama. Why do I have a feeling that you'll be dead by the time that, that Kel Halam shows up, dude? He'll be here soon. We're almost at the cage. Didn't Evan Kel chase after them, though? I'm 
pretty sure she because like I remember Yuhan being like Evan Kel, what the fuck are you doing? When I heard Bam uh, gave a ranker trouble in a battle before, I just laughed it off as as a ridiculous story that Fug invented. But that man is the real deal. Yo, put some respect on Bam's name, Karaka. Please put some respect on it. Bro, you wouldn't be acting Sundere for the man if you didn't raid him anyway. But right now, he's just getting in my way. If this battle drags on, they'll get to the arena first. I've got to do something before then. What the hell, man? You're a ranker for Christ's sakes. Yo, Paul said... What, what, what are you doing, bro? This is embarrassing. How can you not beat a Rugrat? Did he let his guard down? Or is that kid really that strong? Come on, what are you waiting for? The clock's ticking. Sorry, sir. Doom, you, you, you bet on the wrong thing, man. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you that your bet was ill-advised. This time, I'll finish him off. The next attack is important. The enemy still doesn't know about the thorn. At the end of the day, VO can't keep up with a ranker in terms of endurance. He has to unleash the power of the thorn and finish him off as quickly as possible. But wait, why isn't he using the thorn? Yo, it's part of the conditions out here, my boy. Veal, what are you doing? Use the thorn. I promise not to use the thorn until my training is finished. Abide by that. Literally, I need I need Bam to not do it unless it's absolutely necessary. Right? Like, if there's a situation where, like, it means life or death for him or anybody else that we love, then you're going to have to say fuck it to the Evan Keller rules and use the thorn. But until then, you better just get by on what you've learned and your own base abilities. It may be a bit reckless, but the other guy can't use transformation either. If I can't even beat this guy without a thorn, I'll never be able to fight Calavan. That's big facts. That's big facts, dude. <laughs> That's not even a joke. I almost forgot that our end goal with this whole arc is to get to Calavan and get Papa Jin, dude. Because this arc has been so crazy. And I say arc just to include everything that's happened so far because it's not really one arc, but it's the easiest way to fucking refer to it. But everything that's happened in Season 3 so far has been so crazy that I forgot that our immediate goal is fucking saving Papa Jin from Calavan, dude. Oh, that panel is sick. That panel is sick. Whew. Yeah, it's not like this man is a joke. Like, he, de he definitely deserves to be a ranker, but I still think Bam got this. If I can't dodge it. Yo, see who's popping off. You're finished, Zero Hand? Reverse flow control. What the hell? That flow is that what I think it is? Is he using an airwave in that position? The 25th BAM style lethal move. Flare wave. Explode. <laughs> BAM. Flare wave explosion. He hit him dead on. Did the artwork in these panels? The artwork in this little clash right here is so fucking sick. Like, let's start. Let's start back from here. Let's start back from here because this is when it really starts popping off. Like, look at these panels. Like, let's really look at these fucking panels one by one. Look at this shit. This man blocking each blow with precision. With precision, comes in with the hand to hand. Weaves and parries every one of them. Then when he's about to get it, he blocks this blow. Realizes that he can't evade the whole onslaught. Releases a burst of Shinsu, grabs the man, positions himself, and hits him with the flare wave explosion. That's fucking Papa Jin's son right there. That's fucking Papa Jin's son right there. That's fire. Yeah, they fall to your knees. I don't know if is he done? Really? 
You've got to be kidding me. I know the other guy wasn't allowed to use transformation, but still, he didn't even use the thorn. Is this an age gap thing? Doom out here like, yo, in my prime, I was a goat, but like, maybe I've been asleep for too long. Maybe I've been asleep for a little too long. That was just a mistake. Don't make excuses, bro. Just own up to the fact you lost. If you just give me a bit more time, I can beat him. That's enough. He may be a Slayer candidate, but still, you just let a Rugrat beat you. You've humiliated the canine people. I can't just stand back and watch this anymore. Gado. Oh, fuck. Yo, he, tra he partial transformed and stomped on this dude. Bro, Gado, Gado two for two now. Gado just be, Gado literally just be like discarding subordinates left and right. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> he really gives zero fucks, dude. Oh my god. I'm sorry you had to see that, Slayer Candidate. Honestly, I'm stunned. You're as talented as they say. I can't believe I made you fight a weakling like him. That was inexcusably rude of me. If you like Slayer Candidate, I'll tell you where Deng Deng's heart is if you beat me. Oh, he's gonna accept that. Bam's definitely accepting that, dude. Bam is definitely accepting that. How would you like to fight me? Gato versus Bam? I don't know. This is a fucked up matchup. I don't know if Bam can actually win without the thorn. Maybe he can, though. That shit... This shit should be interesting, man. This shit should be interesting. All right, next chapter. We just gonna go straight into it. I need to, I did not mean to move that. Uh, I need to see what happens. Did I, no, it, it should be back, right? It's centered. Yeah, it's slightly off though. Just so leave it there. You'll tell me where Dang Dang's heart is. You already have... Like, look, at the end of the day, Louis is going to sacrifice himself to revive Dang Dang. We don't even need to take this bait, but he doesn't know that, so we're already fucked. Maybe he can, though. Gato is a high ranker. Come on. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm trying to be hopeful out here. Before this whole thing started, I bet all my money on Bam, so Bam has to come through for me. All right, I, I gotta be hopeful until I, until we lose everything, we still got a chance. All right, the crater Bam left. No, that's I'm pretty sure that crater is from Gato stomping this dude out. I don't think that crater is from Bam's move, dude. I think that crater is from fucking Gato stomping this dude out. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure that's what that is, dude. You'll tell me where Den Deng's heart is. That's right. You can't do that. This is against the rules. Yeah, Karaka's the one running this gamble anyway. Oh, shit, Paul. Baylord Paul. Hey, let's just say we lost that fight. And I want you to fight me now. There's no rule saying I can't fight the winning Rugrat, right? Well, if you really want to save that kid, you can just admit I beat you and leave, right? What? What do you think? I know where Dendang's heart is. You can fight me, Slayer Candidate. Oh, this is fucked up. Stay away from the Black Turtle, you bastard. Rock! Hit him with them rocks, my boy. Level 2 partial transformation. Bro, see, that's the thing, right? That's the thing. We saw my boy, the number one in Dorsey Simp, use a level 5 partial. Nobody else has used level 5 yet. But if he can use it, Gato definitely using level 5 partial or even beyond that shit. And definitely the Baylord brothers. So we haven't even seen shit yet. And this man making easy work of this attack with a level 2 transformation? Did I miss it? Vio, Black Turtle. Wait, what did... Oh, he split them. Oh, that's clean. He's still alive? Kanzon? 
Am I eating another calzone for dinner on Sunday night, dude? Like, I had a calzone last Sunday. Am I eating another goddamn calzone? Like, what the fuck just happened? I thought he was dead. What? Let's fucking go. Zone. Who's that? Oh, this shit is crazy. Oh, this is a new arc now? King of the Dogs. Chad, how long? This this arc, because I know that if I finish the next um, six chapters, that I'm reading two more arcs. So I think this arc can only be like two, three chapters. A few hours earlier. But the chapter title is fucking, the, the arc title is fucking lit, dude. If you guys are late, you can figure that out for yourself. You're a regular chosen by head on after all. Let's go, alligator. We have to tell everyone about this, okay. Lulu. R.I.P, dude. Or is she alive too? She's alive. She's fucking alive, dude. Kahon is alive. Kahon is alive, dude. You're still alive, but how? I don't know. I felt this really hot rush of energy. Did he just use Phoenix down on her? He just used Phoenix down on her, dude. Kuhn, did you hit the two subordinates too? I forgot their names, but I like both of them. What are the names of Hong's, uh, Hong's girls? I, I, if they can both be revived too? This shit is broken, man. This shit is broken. Something's going on. I have to get to my father. I shouldn't be lying here like this. If Lord Yama is asleep, I'm the only person in the cage who can stop that traitor Gato. But how? If all this turns out to be my own jealousy, will Lord Yama ever forgive me? Even if I get up again, will I be able to beat Gato? Those wings of mine that Lord Yama used to praise me for have already been torn off. He slow down a bit. She ain't got no time. Exactly. There's no time to waste. My father's pocket says he's this way. What's my father doing here? Did something happen to him too? Dude, Lulu... I, look, I don't care what y'all have to say about new season three characters. You cannot tell me that Lulu isn't dope, right? Like, you can't tell me that Lulu isn't going through it. Because you gotta look at it... Like, you gotta put yourself in Lulu's fucking shoes, right? This is a whole as shitty day filled with that's a whole lot shitty ass week filled with bullshit and all she trying to do is finish her job make some money move up in the rest she didn't even realize how fucked up and complicated this whole thing was lulu is new shasha i think that's accurate i think that's accurate but that just makes me sad because i want shasha screen time but lulu is dope i love lulu dude why am i even following her i shouldn't even feel guilty should i over there. Father. Father, what happened? Who could have done this to someone as powerful as you? Who do you think? What happened to you, Father? Gado betrayed us. What? Gado? That's right. Gado teamed up with some outsider and staged a coup. How dare? Then we don't have time to just stand around here. We have to stop him. I'm not sure we can. What? Lord Yama is asleep and Gado beat me. There's no one here who could stop Gado. Father. All right, if that's how you feel, you've already fought hard enough for the cage. I understand if you're exhausted, but are you really okay with that? I don't want to see you fight and suffer, of course, but it hurts me even more to see you acting so weak, father. Why are you so obsessed with winning, father? I have something I can never give up on. As far as I know, uh, as far as I know you, you're the one who would try a thousand times even if there's no chance of winning. Is Kuhn's power about to be like zero point breakthrough from Katek? If if it's like that, Chief, if it's like that shit, if it's like Suna shit and Reborn, then it's absolutely broken. But like, you got to think about that. That's not even all Kuhn has up his sleeve. The whole thing is crazy. It was a development I was never expecting, but at this point, I think Kuhn is literally going to be the ultimate support character in the tower. Like, there's nobody that will be better than him at what he does. Late game. Right? Not now, obviously. But near the end of the series, bro, this man will eclipse literally everybody 
as far as support light bearer is concerned. What about actual Yon's? I mean, that's fair, but do Yon family members have fucking ice manipulation abilities that people covet off of Edward? No. You know what I'm saying? This man got the best of both worlds right now. But I'd be so proud of you, father. Uh, I know, wait, hold on. As far as I know, and if you end up losing, people may call you a loser, but I would be so proud of you, father. Some fights are worth trying, even if you lose. That's facts. That's facts. That's what I respect about you, father. You're right, I almost disgraced myself. I... I'm just gonna correct this for you. I'm going to fight. With my pride as a warrior of the canine people. Father. Dude, he is in no position. Can you share the flame with him or something? Father, you're, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. Let's go. What does he mean he's fine? At this rate, we won't even get there on time. And even if we get there, he'll just collapse without even getting to fight. You guys may be canine people, but try to think about this a bit more rationally. She's right. I have to help my father somehow. Maybe if I give my father this power that saved me, exactly. It might put me in danger, but still. Father, she can transfer this shit. Yo, Woon, Woon, how powerful is your ability, my guy? Because this shit is fucking insane. This shit is fucking insane. I, it's, it's gone so much further than you probably even fucking imagined. The fact that the residuary that received it can then transfer it to another person is crazy. Woon is the most careless. Woon is literally like top five most careless people in this goddamn tower, dude. This man made a hammer and gave it to fucking Dobby with with the with the curse on it that didn't allow it to be taken out of his hands with one of the most OP Phoenix Rising abilities that have been seen in this series. And now you don't even you, you didn't even let us know that side effects may include you taking on my flame and resurrecting people left and right. Like nobody said shit about that. Like what the fuck? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Oh my god. And she like even even the fact that like she can transfer the flame. Yeah, obviously it doesn't benefit her anymore. Which makes me wonder if like if you Phoenix down somebody with Kuhn's ability right now. Um uh, like, for example, uh, the girl that, that's been fighting by their side that just took them on the Stealing the Fanny Adventure 2. If that's the case, is there a way to, like, subvert it and, and, and disable it? Because if Hong can transfer her the flame to Zone... Alright, I'm getting too far. I'm getting too far off on my speculation. Let me just keep reading. My daughter gave me the strength to fight again. I won't lose to you, Gato. Aren't... You one of the leaders who were with Lord Yama. My name's Zone. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'll deal with this traitor. You can stay out of this Slayer candidate. I thought I beat you once and for all, but your daughter gave you the strength to get back up again. This is just like what happened with uh, Verdici. Why does all this strange stuff keep happening? Who the fuck is Verdici, dude? Have I heard this name before? I don't remember this shit. I think she's an... Oh, she's the... Because uh, it sounds familiar. Oh, she's... Okay, she's who I was thinking of. Okay. Because I knew I heard that name before, but I was like, where the fuck is that from? All right. Why does all this strange stuff keep happening? Anyway, no matter how hard you try, you can't go against fate. You'll never beat me, Zone. No, I will. Ooh, look at that stance. Right now. Right here. For the first and last time. Uh, bam, you don't have time to be watching this, though. Are you okay, Black Turtle? Rock. I mean, I wasn't really worried about you. But seriously, are you okay? The ultimate Sundere in the tower, dude. Rock Wraith Riser. It's, it's just facts, no cap. The ultimate Sundere in the tower. Yeah, for now, we better get out of here. We'll only get in Karaka's way if we stay here. Hey, Slayer Candidate, Doom. Remember the bet, Doom. Purple Turtle. You're not going to ask to fight me too, are you? 
You don't seriously think I'm as pathetic uh, I'm as pathetic like them, do you? I'm not that corrupt enough to break the rules. But you've got me interested now. Have you ever thought about uh, have you ever thought of joining the canine people? I guess you can make that happen, but fuck all that. We don't need that. What? Why don't you become a canine person and work for me? I'll let you be an executive. In fact, I'll give you Yama's position. Doom, you're already showing your hand right there. You are already showing your hand right there. If you accept, I'll give you the greatest canine power I can possibly give anyone. I bet... You make an incredible canine person. What do you think, Slayer Candidate? And now we're back here, dude. I can't believe you put Yama on his knees with this threat. Yama, Yama, Paul, you know that, right? Now it's only three of us on this tower. The goddamn flashback. The three of us are brothers. We're a clan, a tribe. No matter what happens, that'll never change. Yama Paul, look what I made, a new canine person. He's going to help us from now on. What? Why did I kill him? Because we don't need him anymore. We've got way more useful people than him now. That's fucked up. No wonder Yama felt the need to fucking take the reins from this man, dude. Paul, a stylish kid. Yeah. It's, it's, he got like a lot of drip, dude. That's what I'm saying. His whole design is so fire. It's just a shame that his name is so basic compared to his brothers like there's nothing wrong with the name paul it's just like baylor doom baylor yama like that shit has drip dude that shit has sauce and it's just like oh yeah and paul like, and we got paul like just not hitting and sin it's a, it's a damn waste dude you what you liked him uh don't be so sensitive yama also what is yama speaking right now like are you just like barking out here the three of us are the only real canine people in the world. All the others are just, yo, he's out of his fucking mind. Disposable. I can't believe I had feelings for those disposable creatures. I'm so ashamed of myself. No, that's what makes me like you even more, Yama. That's what makes me like you even more. Fuck that. Don't be ashamed of that. Doom is the one that's out of his mind. So I kind of traveled a lot further than I thought. What the heck? Jordan, what's going on? There's something there, but it's too far away and small for the scope to pick up on. Ruamon's residence. Companions of the staircase, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes. There's an unidentified object floating above the cage. An unidentified object, yes. I think it might be an enemy weapon. I tried to zoom in on it with my scope, but it doesn't work. I need help from rules observers. Oh, okay. We're in a bit of a fix right now, but I'll try to call for help. Ruelmon, I'm so sorry, Lord Doom. I'll go to prison if that's what you want. Please just let me use Wi-Fi so I can keep track of Endorsey. I'm not trying to lose my goddess, man. Ruel, look, man. You did what you did and it's done. Let's move on. All right? Look, you don't need to be cowering out here. Doom not even out here yet. Hot's about to be pissed. Oh my god, he's completely lost it. If you help us out, and Dorsey says she'll sing you whatever song you want. Don't be, don't be, no, no. I mean, whatever works, she be sued, because you be lying left and right to make the plan work, so that's fine. But like, and Dorsey ain't sending him shit. <laughs> don't lie to this man. He gonna be lurking forever, waiting for Endorsey to sing him a goddamn lullaby. It's never gonna happen. And Dorsey not doing that shit. Out of any character you could simp over, and Dorsey is the worst one simply because if she not feeling you, you will never feel anything that she has. Period. <laughs> and she definitely not gonna be feeling this man, dude. Because your sights are set on Bam. So it's already a wrap. Even if it wasn't set on Bam, she wouldn't be feeling this man, dude. When did she say that? Besides, she sucks at sitting. Rap, a ballad, a dance song, anything. Yo. Yeah, let's get a let's get an endorsey rap, please. Can we can we get endorsey spitting some bars? That would be kind of fire. Just say the word, dance song twice. Red velvet bits. Oh my god, he's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. But whatever, that's what I expect from endorsey's number one simp, dude. Oh, is that some BTS shit? 
Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. I saw. I I read it as. I don't even. I I, I saw an I there in my mind. Yeah, it did say BTS. I know, y'all y'all know that I don't know shit about K-pop. So, um, but that's pretty fucking lit. That is pretty fucking lit. Jordan, do you read me? Ruoman, I checked out that sketchy flying thing you mentioned. Daft Punk is a thing in TOG. Why not BTS? That's facts. They did have Daft Punk out here. You were right. It's a massive bomb. It's still way up in the air. The cage, uh, way up in the air. The cage, so it should be safe to detonate it. I'll connect the observers from the cage to your scope. You better not miss. Bro, Jordan, don't miss. Don't worry. It's me, remember? Once I set my sights on something, I never... That's what I'm saying, dude. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to the homie, dude. Like, out of everyone, the people that I need to take with us post this arc to like join up with squad is Jordan, Lulu, Deng Deng Revive. Everyone else, yeah, we'll be all right. But I need Jordan, I need Lulu, and I need Den Den, and I'll be good. Dude, how is this man still alive, y'all? I just killed this man. Now's your chance. What happened? Did the nuke just go off? What is it? Is something wrong? Yo, you, you know, yo, Yama's sense is too keen to not know that he, this is his window of opportunity. I don't think there's any problem. Lord Yama, you probably heard a loud bang just now. That was the sound of this object that blew up in the air. The cage, uh, the air, the cage. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, good. Damn it. Well done. Really, did you just compliment me, Lord Yama? Yep. Thank you, sir. I'll record and keep that in my pocket forever. Yo, Jordan is a fanboy through and through, dude. I love this kid. I love this kid, dude. Remember that, indeed, dogs always repay you if you take good care of them. Except me, of course. Because I am the king of the dogs. Pull back, it's too late. I told you, the only place you're going is at your... Yo! Is that transformation status, dude? Oh, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. With that said, though, we're ending this here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash that like button if you did. Again, I'm gonna give my apologies again to anybody that wasn't feeling my response in the last VOD. I, I take full responsibility for that. That shit's on me. Uh, I could have handled the situation better and I was in a shitty mood and I took that out on chat at the same time I think that there's shit that some of you aren't seeing because you weren't there But ultimately that's no excuse and I think I was still in the wrong so I'm gonna do better going forward and Yeah, man either way these chapters are fucking lit right now <laughs> These chapters are fucking crazy right now, but let me know your thoughts and I'll catch y'all later peace